Hello everyone! I am doing another unboxing video today. Dave from 911 Metallurgist has loaned me an Icon Concentrator, a centrifugal concentrator. And I just got the crate just a couple days ago and I want to take it apart and see what it looks like inside. Now the Icon Centrifugal Concentrator is the oh, little brother to the famous Falcon Concentrator. It's a centrifugal concentrator or gravity concentrator. And Dave wants to show off what this thing can do. Because it's very impressive of what this machine can do. But today, before I get to showing what it does and how it works and everything, first I need to take it out of the box and see what it looks like. So that's my first step. the machine. So there is the beast. It's the Icon Gold Recovery Centrifugal Concentrator. And I'm going to explain in a second how this whole thing works. But beautiful little machine. This is, as I said before, the little brother of the famous Falcon Concentrator. Falcon Concentrator is a big centrifugal concentrator for big mines. This is sort of the small scale individual version, I believe. ICON actually stands for Individual Concentrator for a small scale mining operation. Now this is not for a hobbyist that's just out there, you know, panning and high banking. This is sort of the next step up. This is before a very small scale mining operation or sampling operation. And the way I'm going to mostly set it up is for hard rock stuff, though it can do placer as well. Beautiful looking machine. Look at the size of that motor on that thing. Whew. All the plumb in there because it uses water, water for the feed, water for the jets inside, water for all sorts of things. That looks to be all valved and plumbed around very nicely. Gauge to determine your water pressure is going in. That's where the concentrate or the material would go get fed inside. Number four. That must be important for setup in some way. And then inside. Very cool. to it. Uh, that seems to be, I think that's the hopper that goes on for feeding it. That, that must be the variable frequency to control. That's the thing that controls how fast the whole thing works and spins inside. And here's where your main water would get plumbed into it. 
Nice on off switch. Nicely sealed too, perfect. <laughs> Hooks for lifting it. It's not light. Unloading this from my truck by myself last night was no easy feat, but I got it. And I didn't even hurt my back. <laughs> That's where the tailings come out of. And there should be a port underneath where the cons come out. There it is. There's the port for the con the cons concentrates to come out of once you're done running. I'll explain in just a minute here how this whole thing functions. This is a neat feature of it. They must have to get this motor specifically made for this operation because the water going into the machine goes down through the center shaft of the motor. There's a bearing up in here, so this is spinning and the water pumps right down through the center shaft down into the machine. And when I show you the workings inside in a second, you'll sort of see why it has to be that way. But they must have to get these motors specifically made for this operation or, I don't know, drill out the shaft, I don't know. Somehow they get a water port right through the center of the motor. Now I'm not going to actually assemble it today. Uh, I'm going to be setting this up on one of, at one of my properties. So I don't want to assemble it here, then disassemble it, take it there, and assemble it there. Uh, so attaching the wires, plumbing, all that kind of stuff, I will do once it's on site. But I did want to explain how this thing works a little bit. Well, as you can tell, there's a very large motor on it. So something's spinning, obviously. It is a centrifuge. Uh, so it's, there's a drum inside here that spins really quickly. And they're known as high gravity concentrators or gravity concentrators because the spinning drum that's inside is going to create an artificially high gravity inside the drum. It's not really gravity, it's centrifugal force forcing everything out to the outside of the, the drum. But it can create artificial gravity inside that drum that's 100, 150 times what normal gravity is. All concentrators, well, most concentrators, most concentrators take advantage of gold is way heavier than any other material in the gravels or the crush. Uh, in fact, black sands, magnetite, they're only six, maybe even seven times the weight of water, where gold is 19. So huge differential between the two. And a gravity concentrator like this, that making artificial gravity that's way, way higher than normal gravity, is going to be increasing that differential, making a large difference in specific gravities, a huge difference in specific gravities. This machine can catch gold that is tiny. Stuff that a sluice box or a Miller table or a blue bowl, fluid bed, any of those kind of things would miss, this thing will capture because it's taking what was a large difference in specific gravities and making it a huge difference. And that difference means that this thing can catch gold that nothing else could easily. And you, as you feed your material down into that drum, it has water jets that make a fluid bed, if you will, inside that drum in a special way. And the spinning creates centrifugal force, which is like artificial gravity. And the artificial gravity forces the heavy materials like gold out against the edge of the drum into those riffles there. It acts like a sluice box as the water flows over those riffles and uh, the gold gets trapped down in the grooves. Now, I'm not sure if the camera could pick this up. Let's see if I get in there. Ooh, I need more light in there. There are water jets down in the bottom of these grooves that blow water out in the grooves, creating a fluid bed inside each of the grooves. Okay, let's see if uh, I've got a bit of light in here now. I'm trying to get my hand down inside this thing. I can't quite tell if I'm getting it, but I'm gonna try to get pictures of those ports that are down in there. The little water jets at the bottom of the riffles. I'm hoping it's catching it. I can't see. Hopefully it's focused even. There's sort of more of a picture of the inside of this thing too. There's a little bar there that's got some jets in for cleaning out once you're done. The, con the concentrates are coming in. Oh, let's see. 
way over here. Not the concentrates, but the materials coming in way over there. Looks like it's well, well constructed. I like the looks of this thing. And because you have gravity that's probably 100 or 150 times normal, that the fluid bed will capture the gold really well because the gold will fall down through the fluidized material and f fall in the bottom of the cracks. Here's a little animation clip that Sepro did about their Falcon concentrator, the big brother to the icon, showing the material flowing into the bowl, spinning up over the surface, and then out the tailings port. Then you have the rinse water, cleaning out the grooves, and flowing the cons out the bottom port. So this uh, Icon Concentrator is made by a company called Seppo. They're the creators of the famous Falcon Concentrators. But they wanted to try to create a smaller version of their technology for a couple reasons. One, they wanted to bring their technology down to the small scale miners, obviously, uh, that can't afford these big machines. This is a very affordable machine for a small scale mine. Also, they have quite the you know global conscience of uh, making the world a better place. Uh, all over the developing world, in third world countries, all over the place where mining is a big thing, you have artisanal miners still using mercury to recover fine gold. And Seppo here wanted to develop a way that those miners could affordably recover their gold without using mercury, because mercury has such drastic health effects. You know, here, here in Canada, the US, we stopped using mercury, mostly, a long time ago. But they're still using it over in those third world countries. And uh, Seppo wanted a way that they could still recover that fine, fine gold that can't be recovered easily with, you know, uh, sluice boxes and whatnot. A way that cover, recover that fine gold that doesn't use mercury and is still affordable for them to use. And that's when they came up with the Icon Concentrator, the individual concentrator. Small scale, affordable, easy for bringing into these third world countries, setting up and recovering that fine, fine gold. I got to talk with a man a few years ago, um, Marcelo Vega. He is a professor at the local university, and he is a part of a group, heading up a group, that is trying to remove mercury from the world in mining. Um, he goes off to third world countries, goes into the developing world, and meets with the artisanal miners and convinces them that there's better ways for them to recover that gold and still make a living. In fact, making a better living, in some cases, without using the mercury killing themselves, destroying their health, because mercury has such drastic health effects. I got to sit down with him, I, I listened to him at a conference, he's an excellent speaker, excellent speaker, got to sit down with him for a drink afterwards and talk for a bit, um, really, really neat man, and what a, what a great thing he's doing for the world, especially these developing countries, removing this mercury out of the environment. So, Seppo, creating the icon, and Marcelo, by running up this team, getting these machines in people's hands in the developing world, is doing a great thing for mining and the environment. And that was the reason, one of the reasons that Seppo created this machine, was for that purpose. So good on them. Now Dave at 911 Metallurgist, uh, as I said before, wanted to get one of these in my hands so I could show off the amazing things it can do and test it and demonstrate it on all sorts of different types of materials and uh, different applications. And we're going to set it up with rock crushers and in a whole production line so uh, we can just bring the material to it and uh, run it through and see what it can do and demonstrate to the world how great this machine actually is. So thank you Dave for involving me in this. Uh, it's sounding like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I get to play with machines and recover gold. It will be a great process. I won't be able to get it out into its place where it's going to be working for, oh, yeah, probably a month still because we have all this white stuff sticking around still. It is spring though. It's going away quick. As I said earlier, I'm not going to do the actual setup of this until I get it on site, and you'll be, I'll do a whole video of the setup. And you can see how this machine operates, and the setup, and all that kind of stuff, at a bit later date. 
Just want to show off the unboxing, show off the brand new shiny tool. So everyone, I hope this uh, this little series here on the icon is going to be uh, informative for you. And uh, if you ever do want to purchase one of these, uh, contact Dave at 911 Metallurgist. Tell him you saw me on YouTube, and he'll give he'll cut you a great deal. So until the setup video, bye.